Yeah, we can project. This is the make block XY plotter, the early version that only has the uh, stepper motor drive on one side, which leads to distortion and the very sloppy mechanics. So I'm going to modify it and uh, going to find some firmware that goes along with it and actually works <laughs> because, uh, as it appears, the shield that, uh, uh, that is uh, available is outdated and the uh, switch configuration, motor driver configuration, does no longer comply with the firmware, uh, with the 2.0 firmware that is being uh, supplied along with it. And yeah, some, some changes have to be made. And uh, also, Chi guys from China sent me a few little presents. Uh, that's uh, the, the typical 2 millimeter stepper motor belt and some, some tooth pulleys and um, uh, stepper motor driver, some uh, limit switches and some mechanical uh, bits and pieces, and some 405 nanometer laser diodes, just in case I want to build a laser plotter. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. All right, see you guys. So I thought I'd just mount the whole assembly, um, the whole assembly uh, on both sides, uh, each corner, uh, with uh, these posts, or these, um, these shaft holders. But as I tightened the screws, <laughs> it just ripped out the threads. And these are the little fellows. Uh, the bottom one, as you can see, is already fixed. <laughs> um, I just removed the M4 screw and uh, drilled the hole uh, up to, to 5 millimeters. That's the core diameter for M6 and just tapped, <laughs> tapped the M6 thread. And there you go. And I'm going to repeat this for the other cones because honestly, I, I, you can't just start out knowing that these screws will eventually rip out the threads. That's gonna suck. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, you tap that. Huh? Do you know that strange feeling when you're working all day and you, in the end you think you've just all time been running around in circles? Now how about those screws? And of course one of the screws, the screws wouldn't fit in. And look at those threads. A little accident, huh? All right, time for you to go to the garbage bin. Better now, huh? Ah, there we go. Now oh, back to topic. So this is already starting to look better, isn't it? Apart from that and that mess. Oh well. Let's continue. Limit switches. We need limit switches. They gotta go in there somewhere. Yeah, about that. Enough, I'd say. Huh? I'll surely do the trick. It's M4. It's gonna work. And now for those holes, uh, they're gonna be uh, 2.5 millimeters core diameter for M3 screws with a drilling pattern for the limit switch. Sorry, I gotta show it to you really uh, unprepared like this. See, even a blind pig finds a truffle every once in a while. The holes match up. Nice. There, it's done. Rinse and repeat. And got another one to do.
I don't know, man. I don't know. Is it too much? Is it too much? At least it's done. I suppose we're, we're done here, right? There we go. Two limit switches with them four holes. This bottom view ready to be put in place. That's a bit ugly, I know, but oh jeez, I, I I hate the belt sand. That's such such a piece of crap. I can't. Well, there I, at least I tried, but I can't bring myself to do it all sides. Gotta work on the style. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Oops. What worked out here perfectly. See, that's just the limit switch on that side. There we go. Mm, needed some improvisation on the other side. So as you can see, I just um, uh, put in two threaded rods. And um, that way you can get it in there. No worries. Because I don't know. It's hard to access the screw heads, is it? done here.